Hi, in this tutorial, we want to see if our strategy is profitable or not. In my previous video, I talked about this simple strategy that uh, we buy when Bitcoin price has increased over $500 in half an hour or sell when it has decreased more than $500 in half an hour. So to check that, what we need to do is to backtest our strategy and what you see now is a backtest I've done and to do that on Python this is how we do it so uh, there are multiple libraries and frameworks uh, Backtrader is pretty good to do that and um, it's an open source uh, uh, framework to install it we have pimstall pip install Backtrader you just uh, install it with your uh, Anaconda prompt if, we, if you have installed Anaconda or if you're on Linux on your terminal you do that and then what I will do here is to go over the quick start example and also um, well mostly tune for cryptocurrencies and because they they have uh, had stocks mostly in, in mind probably and with some adjustments we get good result for Bitcoin in, in this case especially so first of all uh, we need to have uh, price data if you have watched my previous videos you know um, how to do it and if not this is uh, the code but I won't explain details uh, so I will get my data from Binance exchange which is a popular exchange now and it can be very easily done uh, just uh, having an account and then getting the API keys so I import my keys import daytime and then uh, I import the Binance uh, library I get the data for half an hour time frame from one year ago and I, I'm interested in Bitcoin to USDT and then uh, to see and visualize the data I import pandas as pd and then uh, just put uh, what i have got from the binance exchange into a data frame with the columns which is according to, to the uh, api documentation and then uh, i set the open time as index and convert to daytime because it's a string uh, at the beginning and this is the data so I have explained this in the uh, prediction uh, tutorial uh, with machine learning. So the next step that is necessary to do is to save um, the table uh, to a CSV file. We can use directly uh, Pandas data frame in Bacteria, but it will be um, more more efficient to save it as CSV and repeat the process uh, many times so to convert it we have the data frame and then to CSV and how I saved it is like this uh, BTC underline plus um, concatenating uh, the, the daytime uh, which is uh, like this today and how I want to save it is like this and then um, after we are done with getting the data we go to our spider and import back to the as BT import back to that feeds as BT piece to get the data import OS to find the location import daytime and then you start the class test strategy uh, which is going to be our strategy and you inherit from BT that strategy first of all you you have the log function according to the uh, examples on on the quick start page uh, this is just can you just copy uh, it's it's the same for all and then you have the init functions that you get the data uh, close data and you track your orders by prices and commission commissions you pay to the exchange and just for show have an end, having an indicator is pretty nice then you have the notify order function that you will know if your uh, buy has been executed and the price of execution how much uh, uh, was the um, value and 
how much uh, commission you have paid. So these are based on the documentation, and then and then if if your order has been cancelled or rejected because you didn't have enough money or something else, and then if the trade has been done, you will know how much profit you had. Uh, gross profit is uh, not considering the commission and net is after the uh, considering the commission and so the important part is here which is our strategy uh, first we log the prices and then we see if you have any other order if you have any other order we will not going we are not going to uh, put another order um, send any order and then this is our strategy to uh, see if we are we are going to buy or sell. So my strategy was that if the Bitcoin price has increased more than five hundred dollars in less than half an hour, which is like this, uh, because uh, zero means the current price, minus one means the previous price, and so uh, because uh, these are half. Uh, 30 minute prices so this means in half an hour so if it's, this is true buy and reverse is that if it has decreased more than half an hour sell after this we have uh, if name equals equals main which is uh, if we want to run it from a command line but we will run it from here then uh, you instantiate Cerbero function and then you add the strategy that we made already. Data path is the path to uh, CSV file. So it is like this os.pass.abs path. And then uh, you have the, um, because I have my Jupyter notebook that I saved the data, the same directory, same direction as uh, spider then get cwd which is the current working directory would work and how I have um, labeled my file which I showed in the Jupyter oh sorry here so I have just copied this and then uh, the data this is the important part how we feed the data bt feeds the generic the CSV data this is uh, how we get data from CSV data name is equals data path here from date I want to see if how my strategy works from the beginning of this year 2018 and this is the date format and then uh, the columns we have to define which column is which so here if you go up uh, we have the names yeah so here Open time is the index is zero and then open high low. So like this. And then um, okay, this is the important part. Time frame equals uh, to bt dot time frame that minutes. This is what is uh, needed to adjust for cryptocurrencies because cryptocurrencies are 24 hours, seven day per week and you can buy any minutes you want so we change the time frame uh, to minutes and in uh, the default is uh, days so if you don't write this your buy or sell order will be executed the next day and compression means how many of uh, your time frame you want to be compressing one bar meaning that 30 here is half an hour uh, bar and then you add the data you set cash how much cash you want to set how much money you have at the beginning and then uh, how much you want to buy or sell I put 0.05 Bitcoin and then the commission uh, for Binance is 0.5% uh, uh, and then you print the starting balance, you run everything, and you have the, your final balance, and you just plot. So if you run it, it will be, because it's from 2018, it's going to be quick. Yeah. 
yeah so it will run very quickly and we have the figure which i showed at the beginning to see if we have uh, gained or lost we had 1000 ah, okay so we had lost around 120 dollars but i don't know because at the beginning of 2018 the price of bitcoin was higher i'm not sure if it's been lost or not because if the portfolio or the balance is uh, calculated based on the current price maybe we haven't lost much but uh, this is the way to backtest uh, with backtrader i hope it has been helpful for you and thank you for watching